Okay, let's see what kind of fitness on YouTube on the spine, whatever day it is. Abs in just two weeks. Two weeks just to get this little pug gut abs? Chloe Ting, why you gotta lie to us like that? You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by me and my lifetime support group. If you're looking for a group of positive people who are also nerds and love cartoons, also striving to be healthy and fit, check out the link below. You will receive a 12 week gym program along with an at home workout program with limited equipment while the gyms are closed. Also today we are doing an 11 a.m. virtual boot camp on Zoom and would love to have you there. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michelle McDaniel. I am a personal trainer, a proud mother of a pug. A past theater nerd gone grown up cosplayer cosplaying as a YouTuber today. And this is my channel, My Thoughts Will Probably Offend You, where I share my thoughts and opinions that will probably offend at least one person. And then they feel the need to tell me in the comment section in a very lengthy paragraph, and then I read it. So if there's anything that is offending you today, right now, let us know in the comment section. It is the place to do it. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that subscribe button so you can tell us what's offending you on a regular basis because I post one to two times a week, sometimes three, and sometimes dressed in cosplay, just not today. Because we have another themed week coming our way. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's something that used to be very fun and entertaining, and now people are very scared of them. What can it be? Tell me in the comment section and tune in next week to see if your guess was correct. By the way, if you guys hear a little snorts and sneezes, don't worry, no one has the virus over here. Uh, I have a pug right below me who just makes those noises. So since we have a very heavy makeup cosplay week about to hit this channel, I wanted to come on here in my regular self and talk about a video that you guys have been asking my thoughts on. So today we are responding to Chloe Ting's video title, Get Abs in Two Weeks, 40 million views. Okay, I just checked and now it's at 45 million views. So this video is killing it. So wow, congrats to her. She's doing really, really well on YouTube. And second, wow, abs in two weeks. Uh, I know when I had a gut. Dude, put that thing away. They're like children here. And I was desperate and frustrated and didn't really know how to lose weight, how to eat. I would have seen this and thought, boom, two weeks. Woo! Watch out, beach. I'm going to be walking all over it in two weeks. I'm going to have my stomach flat. So we are going to check this out today. It sounds like it would be a miracle video for when I was younger and just struggling. So without further ado, let's see how we get abs, according to Chloe, in only two weeks. today at 30 seconds each and comes in the superset so we're doing two exercises back to back and we have a 10 seconds break and I personally love that I like that high intensity type thing it's not exactly how I set up my workout routines but I definitely have exercises exercise routines where I will put two exercises together two or three and I make sure to do them one after the other and then take a 10 to 20 second break in between I personally love that feeling that I'm going to die so I have no complaints there at all. The first two exercises is a leg raise and a reverse crunch, which are two very basic moves. She also threw in a little clap for the leg raise and the crunch. And that's totally okay to modify or change different exercises to make it a little bit more exciting because let's be real, if you do the same thing all the time, you're gonna get bored, at least I do. So I constantly kind of change my workouts every month or I find a different way to, you know, change it a little bit to keep this brain engaged. The next two exercises that she did was a Spider-Man plank, then a cross body. Okay, hold up. I was gonna go through every single exercise just so we could respond to every little thing, but that's not really needed. Just go watch the video like the other 45 million people. The exercises were completely fine. All of them were basic exercises that you can do at home with absolutely no equipment, and that is great, especially during this time of quarantine, and a lot of people can't go to the gym and they want something to follow along. I think if you wanna do that, that is amazing. And thank you so much for Chloe Singh for putting these kind of things out there to keep people active. So that brings up the question of what is the issue here then? What's my beef with Chloe Ting? Because that's what you guys are gonna say. Because critiquing means beef. But I'm telling you right here, right now, there is none 
at the moment of this video. It's plant-based between me and Chloe Ting. No beef. So the only issue that I have with these types of videos is the titles and the impression that they're giving to people reminds me of magazine covers. Your dream body in just two weeks. Get slim without dieting. Small changes, big results. How I lost 10 pounds in 10 days. Get a sexy flat tummy in just seven days. And this is a recent one that I just saw about a week ago while I was standing in line at the grocery store. Easiest detox ever. New sugar blocking cocktail. Who wouldn't want that? Now get this. Drop 24 pounds. 24. Not 5, not 10, but 24 pounds in 7 days. 24. <laughs> Drop 31 pounds in 28 days. All of this dropping over 24 pounds in a month and still most of the population in the US are obese. But do you see the similarities between Chloe Ting's titles and the magazine covers? Chloe Ting has done quite a few of these in the past. Most recently she's been doing these quick and fast workouts, something similar that the magazines do as well, which is extremely marketable, which is why her channel does so well. I mean, get your money, but also you have to deal with people like me being like, come on girl. You've been doing this for a while. You know what you're doing. Many people don't want to spend hours in a gym and the assumption when you see bodies like hers is you think they have to put in a lot more effort than a 10 minute side booty workout. And spoiler, it takes a lot longer than that. But when people see a cute girl with a small flat stomach, snatched waist, firm booty, and see that she shares a 10 minute workout, they say, wow, she looks like that doing it for 10 minutes. That means I will look like that doing it for 10 minutes too. Supplement companies do it. Those weird companies that come up with odd exercise equipment does it. Now you can look like this with the revolutionary VibroBelt professional toning system. Cute slim girl or super buff guy is using this workout equipment. It obviously works for them. It's clearly going to work for me. When most of those people that you see in those infomercials with very odd workout equipment pieces or, you know, the very questionable rabbit fat loss pills go to the gym and have very clean diet and they watch their calorie intake. I've actually gotten a few emails of people wanting me to be in their infomercial for some random workout equipment and they want me to like put it on my Instagram and tell people that I use it. And y'all know damn well I lift weights. I would look like a Fupa face. She's a perfect marketing structure on her channel. She's cute, has a great body, posts fast and quick workouts, makes sure it burns, and people will think that it's working in a special workout because it's burning. And burning equals that it's working. And when one, that's not true, and the workouts really are extremely basic. And it's not bad at all to be basic. It's completely great for anyone who wants to just move or any newbies that want to just start to be more active. But you need to know and realize that these exercises will not make you look like Chloe Ting or most fitness models because most fitness models, along with Chloe Ting, lift weights for a lot longer than 10 to 20 minutes. I also do think it's very important to tell people in the video that diet and being at a slight emphasis on slight calorie deficit is extremely important if you want to reduce your body fat. In fact, it's the most effective way to lose body fat so that you can be able to see your abs. Tell me why these people that put these type of titles do not tell their audience the most effective way to reduce their body fat. <laughs> because that's not a popular thing to do. People want fast, people want quick, and they don't like to wait. Especially in America, we, we are not, uh, waiting is not our forte. <laughs> Have you guys seen me in line at Disneyland? Bonus tip if you guys are interested, a lot of fitness models and bodybuilders don't even target their abs. They don't do exercises like this. Why? They get worked in most other exercises. Hell, if I do sprints, especially up incline sprints, the next day my abs are on fire. And I didn't do any type of crunch once during the workout. Keep in mind this also depends on genetics. If you are just naturally slim in your waist, most likely you're not gonna bulk up that very much. But someone like me, I tend to avoid doing abs around my competition time because I am naturally thick in the waist. And so if you look here, I did not have a single day for abs and my waist did get pretty tiny for my natural SpongeBob waist. So like I said, not all fitness models, you know, don't isolate their abs, but many people that I've talked to that go on stage and how I was informed when I got into it is to don't worry about 
abs or, or you know having a day for abs worry about your diet which is the most important part and training all of your other body parts because in figure and bikini abs don't get you a trophy it's a small waist and everything else especially your butt so my biggest problem is that Chloe Ting and many fitness youtubers give off the impression that you can get this in two weeks I was really hoping or thought that she would at least put a really like quick thing in the video like you know make sure to keep your diet clean if you want to achieve this in two weeks but that was nowhere in the video also I don't understand because she's already so popular she already gets a lot of views most of her videos gets at least a million within a week or two what is the point of titling your videos like this people are going to watch it they know who you are so there's really no need to title her videos in such a way unless she's just very greedy once again this is just talking out of my butt but when you have that many subscribers and you already have people viewing your videos you don't really have to trick people into watching it and if you are gonna trick them at least put it in the video somewhere like a little disclaimer because an average person who watches this most likely is not going to get abs in two weeks that is a straight up line you could have probably just gotten away with saying smaller stomach in two weeks because that will most likely happen if you're at a calorie deficit so that's my biggest issue she puts a lot of focus on the exercise and these really misleading titles which I have no room to talk I do click big buy also put disclaimers all the time okay but these titles when the best thing you can do to reduce your body fat to be able to have a smaller waist is drum roll please calorie deficit and too many internet personalities internet fitness personalities do not stress that enough like I said before it is great that her channel is here to get people moving get people excited get people you know just getting off their booties and doing something other than watching anime I work out. I just watch a lot of anime. She is providing free exercise routines, which is amazing. So good for her. And no one can say that there is nothing online that is free for them to work out and follow and be more active. It's right here. 45 million other people are doing it. You can do it too. It's still great to work your core and I do abs because I think it's fun, but it's good to know that compound movements with weight training and having a low enough body fat along with a dash of genetics is what will get your abs to show. But just remember to think realistically with the results that you're going to get. Thank you guys so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comment section remember you do not have to be a size two having big biceps are great to have to scare away all the boys but not needed to be healthy but health is very important and being realistic about your weight loss is very important and i want all my watchers and chloe team to be as healthy and realistic as possible thanks so much again for watching and the next time i see you it will be a themed week get excited because it's gonna be kind of creepy bye guys you see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone.